And this story goes way back to 1998, when I was 16 years old. I was hanging out with a couple of friends of mine, who I would call Ben and Jake. It was a late summer evening on a Saturday, and I was sitting in my room listening to some 80s rock albums, as teenagers would normally do back then. After a while, I got bored and went outside to meet up with my friends. We ended up chilling in Ben's garage, drinking beer and smoking pot. I can't remember exactly how, but we wound up walking down this narrow path by the woods and towards the lake. I guess we got bored of sitting around and went out to go do something. So back in 98, there was this popular hangout spot for teenagers in my neighborhood. So we were hoping to see some other kids there. But when we arrived, we were met with nothing but the sound of crickets. Bummer. So we sat on the bench for a while and just talked for about 15 minutes. Then Jake got the idea to go to an abandoned two-story boathouse that was by the lake. We had nothing better to do, so we agreed. We soon entered the boathouse and started to explore. I just sort of stood there while Jake and Ben were going around breaking shit. I felt very uncomfortable, and I couldn't quite shake the feeling that we were being watched. We went upstairs where there was an old wooden boat lying there with a fishing net over it. While checking it out, from downstairs we all heard the wooden door to the boathouse creak open. Followed by heavy footsteps. We all froze in place and listened carefully. There was around a five second break when we heard a terrifying voice call out to us. I know you're here. Come out. Come out wherever you are. The heavy footsteps started to walk towards the stairs as the old floorboards creaked and moaned. Jake went inside the wooden boat and Ben and I followed. We put the fishing net over our heads and didn't move. The footsteps soon reached the top of the stairs. I can hear you. We were all as still as cadavers as we sat there and listened to this deranged person stumble around looking for us. I contemplated a plan of escape without being caught, but there was just no way for the three of us to make it past him, and he was closing in on us. We were literally like sitting ducks. The man moved out of sight when he entered a small room adjacent to the boat. We suddenly ripped off the fishing net and made a break for it. There you are, the man said as he emerged from the room and rushed at Jake. But Jake reacted very quickly and shoved the man, sending him toppling over. We all ran like hell out of there and threw the tall grass into the woods. We heard the man give chase, but he eventually gave up. We all went back to Ben's garage and fell onto the couch in exhaustion. Jake then told us that he saw a knife in the man's hand as he fell over. Ben and I sat there in utter shock. Did that fucking maniac really plan on killing us in that old boathouse? To this day, I can't help but wonder what would have happened to us if Jake hadn't reacted so quickly. 